and anxiety. I was going through the grief of losing my father all over again. I had tremendous help. My girlfriends again surrounded me in their life raft of love. This I had a Melissa. great therapist. I had a little help from medication. Oh no. Because I was having such panic attacks. I hope you didn't hear that part. Um, they still want to see Teresa. Everyone is still really lined up to see crisis. Teresa. Got three fusions in my She's spine. our girl. And She's right everyone's now, girl. We love her. My arm doesn't go any higher than this. But it will next year after I have it fixed. Now, people can let these things define them. We can let them define you. We can become victims of our circumstances. Or we can take what we're given and turn it into something ultimately positive. I watched my very best friend, Sandy, go through the loss of her firstborn child when he was only 16. And to me, even with all I've been through, that seemed crushing. Right? It seemed like there was no way she was ever going to be Sandy again. There was no way she was ever going to be whole again. There was no way she was ever going to laugh again. Damn. And I was with her every day, every day, every day after that. And gradually, the light came back into her eyes. The laughter came back into her life. She made a decision to walk through this, honor her son, care for her three remaining children. Her husband left her for a younger woman a year after her son died. I mean, these are things that turn someone bitter and can turn people bitter and vicious and, and blaming and, and victims and well I can't do this because my son died or I can't do this in my case because my father committed suicide so I am no longer going to be a, a, a contributing member of society and I'm going to take it out on you. I watched her not, not only not become that person but become the opposite. She wrote a book that was published a couple of years ago how to Survive the Worst That Can Happen. And it is an extraordinarily beautiful book that's a step-by-step -step workbook for parents who lose a child. And I was, I was honored to be asked to write the foreword for that book. Um, so my point in all of this is, are you gonna let it stop you? Are you gonna let it turn you bitter? I and mean, if you look at the people around you and around the world and around the country who are the most angry, the most, uh, the vicious, the, the cruelest. These are the people who, in my opinion, have the most pain. And then take it out on everybody else. And, and I, I taught my children, they learned it really well, be kind to the kind, be kind to the unkind, because your nature is kindness. Great words. And it, it you know, I remind them of it regularly, but I have to remind myself sometimes, because when people come at me with anger and bitterness and and stuff. I, I, I'm always, you know, taken aback for a second, and then I have to find that place in me that goes, okay, but I love you, and then walk away.